And they've canceled people that are more powerful than me. They canceled J.K. Rowling. My God, J.K. Rowling wrote all the Harry Potter books by herself. She sold so many books, the Bible worries about her. <laughs> and they canceled her because she said in an interview, and this is not exactly what she said, but effectually, she said, gender was a fact. And then the trans community got mad as shit. They started calling her a turf. I didn't even know what the fuck that was. <laughs> but I know that trans people make up words to win arguments. <laughs> so I looked it up. TERF is an acronym. Stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminists. This is a real thing. This is a group of women that hate transgender. They don't hate transgender women, but they look at trans women the way we blacks might look at blackface. It offends them. Like, ooh, this bitch is doing an impression of me. Okay, okay, that was uh, Dave Chappelle. Very, very, very short clip, but he made his point. Um, I've heard the saying before that trans women, especially when they're it seems like they're making a mockery of what femininity is or what womanhood is or what girlhood is, that they're basically just playing all these st stereotypes that I thought the left was fighting against. Um, Dylan Novaney or whatever is a really perfect example of that. Day one of being a girl and I have already cried three times. Yeah, Dylan, because women just like cry randomly all the time. Also, before you say I'm using the wrong pronouns, I do not believe he is a trans woman. I believe he is a man who's exploiting and making fun of women to make a quick buck, which he started doing because of his failed acting career. You know what women also do? We all hike in high heels because there aren't women's hiking shoes. We only have heels. That's the only shoes they make for women. So weird. Um, oh yeah, we're scared of bugs and we giggle like an idiot. Don't believe me? Look at this woman doing it. My hiking heels. I love them. Okay. Come on. Ha. Ha. Love ya. Ah! Oh. Oh, well, baby, let's not forget about the slurs. Being a girl and I've already become a bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Oh my God. So yeah, it's like woman face. I've heard I've heard that saying going around the internet. Woman face is kind of like blackface, where you're just trying to make a mockery of of the female experience of what a woman is. And turf trans inc trans inclusionary radical feminist is basically the true version of what a feminist actually is, where you stand by women, by females, by you stand for the protection of female spaces, you stand for the protection of females' rights, and one of the biggest misogynistic uh, 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 sexist movements I've seen is a lot of this transgenderism when biological men come into female spaces and then order all the women around and tell us how it's gonna go down. Tell us how uh, what femininity is, tell us what womanhood is, tell us what girlhood is is it's basically like the thing that the, the left always accuse white men of doing colonizers they come into spaces and they're taking over this is literally what they're doing but women who are too scared to just use their brain logic and common sense and say this this is stupid is they're too afraid to just point the obvious out that this is if you want to point out anything that's sexist or mansplaining or all the stupid things that the left always points out that it's not true this is your this is your biggest opportunity to do that but you're too scared to step up and do it I do think more and more women are actually speaking out now because now it's just kind of getting ridiculous. Basically, the woman of the year is not always a trans person. Um, there was a, an Abba and, Abba and Preach did a video about how like there was a female only like rec recruiting, like job recruiting fair, and all these men went and just identified as non-binary. And because of the rules that the left laid out, you can't question it. You can't question their gender, their sex, their gender expression. How do you know? So you can just say I'm non-binary, and you you can go to whatever female spaces, uh, protector spaces, the spaces that feminists the decades ago the first wave of fem feminists fought for career conference for females in tech was taken over by male attendees they were there just purely for the career fair social media clips filmed at the grace hopper the world's largest gathering of women technologists show men standing in line to meet with recruiters this is a space for women in tech this is one of those few limited resources that isn't for you it's for us some of the male attendees reportedly lied about being non-binary just to get in <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's idiocracy at its best. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this video in the comment section below. Do you agree with Dave Chappelle that, especially when it seems performative, trans women, when it seems like they're just making a mockery out of fem uh, feminin femininity or womanhood, do you agree that it's kind of like blackface? Or do you think that's an overreach? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. You can donate. It helps keep me on this platform. And you guys, have an amazing day. Bye. And they've canceled people that are more powerful than me.
We canceled J.K. Rowling. My God, J.K. Rowling wrote all the Harry Potter books by herself. She sold so many.